slow down. Like, like really, just, just slow down. How many of you have ever had that said to you at some point in your life? Anybody? Like, I know I certainly have many, many a time. Like, whether that be at work, whether that be throughout high school, university relationships, of course, even when driving a car at occasional times. <laughs> I know I'm always trying to go from one opportunity to the next. Getting that next mark, getting that assignment done, doing that student society, getting that promotion, going to do all these amazing things. And I just keep going and going. But at what point do you slow down? I'm sure many of you are in the same boat. We just want to keep on achieving. But at what point do you actually be content with what you have? Now, the advice of slow down has come to me in many forms throughout my life. And sometimes I just brush it off. Like, I'll be fine. I'll keep going. You know, they don't know what I can do. But there are some situations where I do know that I've seen this come of value. And they come in kind of two main forms. The first being in communication and how you're being understood. And the second, when valuing your own life and enjoying the moment. So let's give you two stories about where this come up. The first one, back in an early high school presentation, you know, back when I was a young kid, you know, 14, 15, something like that. I, I joined cadets and naturally, being the go-getter I want to do, I went and uh, applied for a leadership position. I, I got in there and naturally what you have to do is prove that you can actually speak in front of an audience because what's the point of being a leader if you can't actually teach people anything or give them direction. So I walked in, naturally all my teachers were in there. I walked in, gave the presentation, gave my content. Everyone clapped. It was fine. It was exciting. You know, the teachers love you. It's, it's great these days. <laughs> And I walked out, it was all good. But one of my teachers came up to me and he said, Alistair, the content was all there. No issues about that. But we just couldn't understand what the hell you said. You spoke so fast and you went so quickly, there was nothing to actually understand. And that was the first lesson I had. Realizing that yes, I may be able to understand what's in my head at a million miles an hour, but the people listening to me can't. They don't know the context that we may have, or you, they may have a different learning style to you. And so that was the first lesson of slowing down that I got. Being able to understand and communicate to other people for the best working together experience. So number two. Now, if you've spoken to me, I may or may not talk about travel a lot. Maybe it comes up once or twice or 10 times a day, and it may get annoying at some point or another, but um, there's one particular story of when I was on exchange, about four years ago now, pre-COVID times when that was no issue. I was in Sweden, but naturally I went all around Europe. And over the course of one week, I went to five different countries. Now you're probably thinking, oh my God, that's amazing. Great story to tell. You got to go to Prague, Vienna, Austria, Switzerland, Germany, all in the course of one week. Now, to be fair, it was fun at the time, you know, ticking off these boxes is an awesome goal. But I came back, I thought about it. Did I actually go to these countries? Did I actually pick up any of the culture, any of the actual learning experiences that you do take into account when you go to these countries? Yes, like going to a country like New York and just going to Times Square and then, I don't know, flying to LA and going to Santa Monica Pier. Would you actually say that you've been to these places? No, you really need to take some time to sit down in that culture understand it, maybe have some pasta, make a terrible bolognese sauce <laughs> before you actually know some of these different cultures. And so that was my second lesson of slowing down. There's time. You can always come back to another country, tick off another box down the track, but enjoy the moment and enjoy and get the most out of the place you are at a particular time. Because sometimes that value is just recognizing that you are in the moment. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't know this lesson 100%. I'm still on this journey and it's really hard. Like, I'm sure like many of you, there are just so many cool opportunities that come up every single day. 
like you guys got to come down here to Silicon Valley. Like that was of course something that you said yes to, but there are so many opportunities at university at work that you just wanna say yes to and keep going and doing. It's a hard lesson of when to say no. I'm sure that as this week has gone on, you have kind of exhausted. It's a busy weekend, but I hope you've gotten so much value. But one thing I challenge you to do is have a look around. Look to the person to the left of you. Look to the person to the right of you. <laughs> Recognize this moment. <laughs> Remember who you're with and all the cool things you've actually gotten to do over this past week. Because I am sure that you will make connections and make and learn lessons that will last a lifetime. As we move forward, how might we remember this moment in time? Thank you very much.